I'm gonna role play these two back to back. Ready? Let's go check out some numbers. Um, let's just make sure all the knobs on it work. Just have a seat for me right here. Just okay, stop. Right Everything that I just told you, 95% of you don't do. Here's what you do. They banished me, never to be seen. To a place where the air is always filled with screams. So hot that the land only grows weeds. A place where I, I want to ask a question, right? What is an average job selling cars? Average. Does anybody think eight to 10 cars a month is a good job? No. Okay. Most of you said eight, 10, 12 cars. Am I right? Okay. As I'm talking to you today, now listen, now here's my goal is this, okay? I'm y'all's brother, right? Okay. We, we, got, we got two girls in the room, rest are guys, okay? I'm y'all's brother. That means I want to help you guys become the best you can possibly be today for yourself, your customers, your family, and your future. Does that make sense? When you're focusing today on what I'm telling you, there's a difference between hearing me and listening and then consciously paying attention to change. If you sold real estate, if you sold real estate and I sold a thousand houses a month and you sold a hundred, just give me an example. If I was telling you what to do, wouldn't you listen? I mean, how stupid would it be for you to go, that guy don't know what he's talking about. I'm gonna keep selling eight cars. I don't want you to be me. I want you to be you, but I want you to go get everything in your life you've ever wanted. Do you want more? Do you want more? Do you want more? Okay, how are you gonna get more? No, 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 but how though? You're gonna have to change. Do you understand that him, him being who he is now won't work? I'm not disrespectful. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to have to change. You're going to have to change. Like you're at, at some point in your life, you're going to have to make a change somewhere. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Everybody say lifestyle. lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle do you want? The best. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't want the best, you, but you don't want the best because no, no, no. I know, but, but you don't want the best because we're, we're doing eight to 10 cars. So we're lying. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm going to be direct with you guys. Should, should we go around the room and everybody's like 20, 25? Is that what everybody should be saying? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. What would have to change? Come here. Let me grab you. Hold on. Now listen to me. Hey, and don't say, oh, shit. like be like, hell yeah. No, but who cares? And by the way, don't give weakness a voice. He said, my legs hurt. Well, you should be working out all the time. There should be nothing for you. But does that make sense? You guys feel me? Guys, never give weakness a voice and learn to master your mouth. Okay. Hey, listen. I love California. California is a beautiful state. There's a lot of complainers in California, am I right? Yeah, boy. Don't throw me out of here because you're like, oh, screw this guy. Went down there and he talked shit in California. No, I just went there this last week and everybody I was around was seemed like they were complaining about something. Does that make sense? Okay, you're going to have to realize if you want a different life, then everybody got to be different. Okay? Okay, so first thing we got to do is master our mouth. So if you want me to train you, okay, and you want to change, number one, Okay, are you shy? Yes or no? A little bit. Okay, cool. If you're shy, we need to kill that now. Now, by the way, what is the number one thing you're going to do in sales? Self talk. You're going to be speaking. That's right. He's going to be mastering strangers. Do shy people like to go up to strangers? Nope. No. Nope. So first of all, here's what we have. Everything you want in life is on the other side of being uncomfortable. That means not comfortable. That means, dude, if you're like, well, I want to be comfortable, then stay broke, stay in eight-car hand, keep doing what you're doing. But if you'll listen to me now, say, dude, I want to get as uncomfortable as possible. I want to do more of these workouts. I want to be up here on this stage as much as possible. I want you to break me of my weaknesses. Do you guys hear what I just said? Break yourself of your weaknesses. Does it take a man to look in the mirror and go, I got problems? Yep, and you don't put your head down, you put your head up and you start fixing them one by one. So number one, we're gonna learn how to shake a hand. Is that cool? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start with him. Now listen to me, I need, I need you to understand something, okay? This isn't a game, how old are you? 25. You're 25 years old. How much money you got saved up? Like 10 grand. Okay.
Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Everybody understand this. If, how old are you? 25. He's 25 years old. How long have you been working? Since he's 18 years old, you've been working for seven years. Is that right? Right. You got 10K saved up. That means he's given seven years for 1,500 a month, or for 1,500 a year that he's been able to save. Does that make sense? Yeah. Is that a good job? No. Okay. Is your house paid off? No. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't have a house, but you're right. But it's not paid off, right? What about your car? Is it liquid? No. Okay. And then cash, we got 10K. Here's the deal. My point is, everybody, reality check. Look at yourself and say, that ain't where I want to be. That's bullshit. You know what I want? I want everybody to pull the, the blankets off of them, and I want to see how ugly your life is. I want to see, I want to expose holes. Remember I said blind spot. Today, we're going to find the blind spots. Now, here's what I need you to do. When you meet me, dude, you, you got to believe in yourself. That's why you train. You said, I got to learn to speak. Perfect. So what should we learn? How, how should we train? Anybody in this room that's shy, you practice shaking hands. You ready? Yep. Okay, so I just got out of the car. I'm walking up in front of the building. You're there. I get out of the car, walk up to me, and, and, and do your meet and greet. Hey, welcome to Paradise. Rob Five here. How you doing today? Good. <laughs> Stop. Okay, do it again. Cool, I get out of the car. Hey, welcome to Paradise. Rob Five here. How you doing today? I'm good. Nice, what brings you in? Uh, I'm just gonna check out some cars. Nice, perfect, what are we looking at today? Uh, I'm just gonna go look at some Hondas. Nice, okay, what, what kind of Honda were you checking out? Did you get today? my name? I didn't. Okay, why does he need to get my name? Okay, should he look at me in the eyes? Yeah. Yeah. Slow down when you speak, slow down. What's your name, is your name important? Yes. Is your name important? Dude, that's what your parents named you when you were born. How important is someone else's name? How important is your name? Okay, if you walk up to a dog and you're scared, it will bite you. Am I right? Okay, you walk up to a customer. Everybody hear me out here. If it was me and I hired you two, you said you're new, right? You know what I would do? I wouldn't even let them go take ups. I would physically drive them to the mall and I'd say, you guys, go shake 50 people's hands, let them know what you do for a living, say hi to them, and then go to the next one. We're just going to walk. That's all we're going to do. We're going to walk. Hey, what's up, man? Andy Elliott. Hi, hey, what's your name? Raphael. Raphael, nice to meet nice you, man. To meet you. Hey, every time. Hey, how you doing? Andy Elliott. Hey, what's your name? Nice, nice to meet you, man. How you doing? I would just make everybody go shake everybody's hand. You know why? We'd get all this nervous bull crap off of us. You gotta shake the dust off you. You gotta beat the weakness off you. If you don't get it off of you, you can't walk outside and own a relationship. Does that make sense? Okay, you shake my hand. Come on, and this is easy stuff. I just get out of the car, right? right? Yeah. I step out, go ahead. Hi, welcome to Paradise. Alex, how are you doing today? Nice. Good. What's your name, sir? Andy. Andy, a pleasure having you here today. What brings you into Paradise today? Are you looking for parts, sales, or service? Uh, sales. Um, yeah, can I point you in the right direction? What brings you in today? What are we looking for? I'm just gonna check out some Hondas. Okay, so you have a nice Tesla here. Are we looking to replace that today or just add to the fleet? Uh, just get another car. Okay, let's go check out what I have. Follow me this way. Okay. Now watch this. Everybody do me a favor. Posture. Everybody say posture. Posture. Okay, the posture. Who, whose house is this? It's yeah. our house. Okay. So act like this is your house. When you answer the door and somebody knocks on your door, do you answer the door all slinky? Or do you answer the door like, hello? Like you're at my house, right? This is your house. By the way, is this their house too? Yes, this is your house and their house. So do you got to make the, do you got to make your company, your dealership, your home feel like their home? Yes, but do they need to know that you're in charge? Yeah, so when they come out, you're having the best day of your life. Everybody say best day of your life. Best day of your life. Hey, why don't you say that to people when you walk up? What's going on? Hope you're having the best day of your life. Andy Elliott, what's your name? Alex. Alex, nice to meet you, sir. What brings you in today? You here for sales or you here for service? Um, sales. Nice, my man. Is there someone that I can help you find or do I have the honor of helping you today? Um, no, I don't know anybody here. Nice, okay, cool. My name's Andy Elliott. Again, to put a name with the face, my job is to give you world-class customer service and to service you and your family in all the highest levels that are important to you. As I said, it's an honor to help you. 
Let's rock and roll and kick some butt. By the way, what brought you in? Was there a specific vehicle you came in to look at, or did you just drive by and you kind of want me to show you where everything's at? What would be best? Own the place. Own the store. See these hands? Are these hands moving? Yes. Is this my place? Is this what I do for a living? Am I good at this? Hey, am I the top salesman in the company? Yep. Okay. How do I know that? Because I look like I am. Do you think people want to deal with the best or they want to deal with somebody who's not the best? The best. Yeah. The best. So if you're not the best right now, you need to start acting like you're the best. And by the way, managers, I need you to know this too. A salesperson can't become something that you're not either. So like, if you're not going out every day, as a manager, when I came into work, right when I came into work, immediately as my sales team started coming in, I'd walk out, hey, what's going on, Joey? What's up, brother? Nice, nice, to, nice to have you here. Hey, hey, Donnie, nice to meet you. Hey, Bobby, you ready to roll today, man? I got out behind my desk, I shook every freaking person's hand, and I got them ready to start the day. And then you know what I would do? I'd say, come on, guys, we're gonna knock the dust off each other. Let's shake some hands. Start right here in the middle, let's roll. Okay. Once you learn how to shake somebody's hand, what do you got to do? You got to realize that everybody that comes into the store today came in to buy a freaking car today. Every damn one of them. There's not one person that drove in here that is thinking about doing something tomorrow. They came in today because they want something to happen today. So we set the tone. Alcatraz, no one escapes. Everybody's going to buy. Now, how do people buy? When we give them our best. Remember this? We're going to outcare our competition. We're gonna have the best attitude ever. And then also on top of that, what are we gonna have right out the gate? We're gonna have obstacles. Everybody say obstacle. Obstacles. Okay, we're gonna explain this to you and you. All right, I'm gonna grab you two right here. Come over here, watch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna role play these two back to back. Ready? So, when they go and they meet me, they build a good relationship, they shake my hand, okay? Then we move to a unit, we move to a car. Okay, what is a walk around? What is a walk around? Presentation of the vehicle. Okay, what is a walk around? Presentation of the vehicle. Okay, what does a walk around look like? Bye. Does a walk around look like something that you're excited about? Yeah. Guys, what is the walk around built for? It's built to create emotion, emotion, emotion on the car. Emotion. What do we want? We want the roller coaster ride. We want people to get excited. Whose job is it to get them excited? Now here's what I'll tell you. Everything that I just told you, 95% of you don't do. Here's what you do. Hey, oh, oh, Jake, you here for the Tesla? Cool, I got the keys, man, check it out. Here, Jake, here, here, go and jump in. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and get in. Yeah, I'll get in over here. Go ahead and pull it out, there's the entrance. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Hey, Jake, come on over here with me. Jake, that, that's it, that's the one, the baby blue Tesla? Give me a second, step back. Boom, get in. I pull it out, I pull it 50 yards down that way. Why 50 yards down there? Because I'm getting it away from all these, these ones, and yes, control. Then when I get out, I'm like, Jake, come on, man. Where you at? Come here, buddy, check this out. Well, I'm opening these doors. Now Jake's like, oh man, where are we going? I'm going down here, why? Because see these other Teslas? Did they come in to buy this one? Or do you want them to be like, oh, well, I kind of like this one. Well, tell me about this one. Well, how many miles are on this one? Well, well, tell me what year this one is. Now they're all confused. And what does a confused mind do? Nothing. Dude, pull it down there and then open the doors on it. Hey, I don't care if you start the front, the back, the side. Just get them excited, man. Touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure they love it. Why is the walk around and the test drive so important? because it's the first time the client envisions owning that car for the very first time. If you don't do that, you're an idiot. Your job, remember what I said, 90% of the time, we're outside on the lot building value, making sure they love us, building trust, building rapport, making sure that they understand that their dominant buying motives, the things that they came into that were important to them, lie in this vehicle, am I right? Once we do that, then what do we do? Fill the will, seals the deal. Okay, what if I say, oh, I don't need to test drive it. We're good, I drove one like it down the road. Totally understand that, but let's make sure you absolutely love this vehicle. You know, you love how it drives, how it feels, how it smells. Yeah, I drove one just like it. Let's just go check out the numbers. If it's a completely different vehicle. You know, they're all made differently, just a tad bit. This one specific to the one that you wanna buy and you wanna be driving. So let's make sure you absolutely love it. Okay, I, I don't need to test drive it, I'm good. Um, I, I fully understand. Just take a seat right here. Let me swing around. Let me show you. Let me just touch a few buttons with you. 
get you to just sit down in the driver's seat. I'm good, buddy. Place. I appreciate it. I like the car. Let's just go check out some members. Yeah, um, let's just make sure all the knobs on it work. Just have a seat for me right here. Just okay, stop. Right hey, guys, hold on, stop. All right. All right, listen to me. Here's the goal. If somebody says they don't need to test drive it, I dare someone to try that on me. Okay? Yeah, and, and you don't even have to go into store policy, I don't think. Look, it's simple. Test drives don't have to be long, but they are necessary. Very simple. Test, test drives don't have to be long, but they are necessary. We don't mind if they're down the service drive and back, but we know this before we get into the easy stuff, which are the numbers. We want you to touch it, feel it, smell it, make sure you love it, and then we'll make sure all that's right, okay? So even if it's down the service road and back, that's fine, but they are necessary in our company. Let's go for a quick spin. Hey, is it, no, is it a big deal? You know why I'm telling you no? Because I want to see if you'll stutter. Listen to me. If I tell you no and you get shaky, you get stuttery, you get wormy with me, why the hell did you get wormy? Why did you get weird? Are test drives bad? Should I not go on them? I mean, shit, dude, I told you I don't want to go on it, but it's not like I'm against them. But you're getting weird now. I watch you change from cool and confident to getting shaky and wormy in me telling you no. Does that make sense? Everybody, expect no's. Expect them. Expect them. Expect them. Hey, some of you are like, oh, I don't want to know. Shut up, dude. You're going to get a lot of no's. Expect them. Obstacles are going to come up. It's cool. Dude, my favorite thing are early obstacles so I can overcome them. Now that shit's out of the way and we move on into the purchase. Dude, your goals is to understand no's are, are not bad. Dude, matter of fact, if you're getting yeses, you didn't ask enough. Okay, if I watch a manager go in, close the deal on a first pencil, I'm like, went too weak. Should have held two more on his trade. You know what I'm saying? You got soft, dude. The whole goal is them to say, damn. And they say, yeah, I know, it's a lot. But also, it has a lot of benefits as well, which is why people are choosing this model. Let me show you. Come here, check this out. It's okay. It's cool, guys. Let him say no. Let him, let him be like, damn. It, dude, leaving money on the table, the reason why we're in sales is so we can increase the value super high, but if value exceeds price, the price isn't too high. Am I right? Okay. Some of you in here right now that aren't earning enough money, you know what you don't know how to do? Explain value and sell value. Does that make sense? Okay, why do you want to do a walk around on a car now? Why do you want to make sure that you build a lot of trust? Why do you want to make sure you build more rapport with them than they've ever built with anybody ever before in their life? Because that's the great separator. Okay? Dude, if you don't do this, your life's going to suck. If you don't do this, you're, you're 8 to 10. The reason why you're 8 to 10, hey, and don't tell me you don't get any more customers. You get more customers, right? You get more customers, right? Problem is you don't close more customers. Guys, to persuade a, va a vast majority of my wealth has come from the ability to influence and persuade. It ain't being a closer. The close is already done when I build the value. Then I go inside and I just gotta explain the value and close it. Does that make sense? Okay, everybody needs to understand this. Your confidence, okay, you gotta wanna change. Your confidence gotta go through the roof. Your conviction's got to go through the roof. In a world right now where people don't believe in themselves, okay, a lot of you in here, the reason why you're selling 8, 10, 12, because that's all you think you're worth. You may say, dude, I'm worth more than that. No, you don't. If you thought you were worth 20, you'd have 20. Do you think so? See that? Nobody can argue with it. Everybody say the truth hurts. The truth hurts. That's how you know you, that's how you know you're in the right company. That's how you know you're working for the right people. That's how you know you got the right wife. Okay, the right wife, truth hurts. She won't tell you what you want to hear. She'll tell you what you need to hear. I'm trying to tell all of you guys right now, the reason why you're at where you're at is because you haven't grown. You're not grown fast enough. You don't care anymore. You've gotten comfortable or you don't like the truth. It pisses you off and your ego gets in the way. Every time someone says, you could do more, you're like, screw that guy. No, you could, you could do 20 and you should be doing 20. You should be doing 20, even though you're, 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 you're gonna retire in three years. That doesn't matter. Go out with the bang. You know what I'm saying? Like guys, like this is, this is, this is our sport, right? 
Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.